Hey guys, we're going to install the motherboard fans and the processor into my ASUS Sabertooth Z70 motherboard. The processor is an i7-3770K with an LGA-1155 slot. So we're going to start with the fans because we feel like that's going to get them out of the way and then move to the processor. Um, first we're going to install the little fan. The cool thing about this motherboard is that it has thermal plastic over the top so that the fans can blow air through and do uh, a bunch of cooling on the motherboard, which is great. So we're going to install this first fan. You want the uh, ASUS sticker on the top instead of the back green one. So we're going to put it this way. I'm going to put my co cord on this bottom corner near the processor so that it's not going to be touching my graphics card like it would if it was up here. So I'm going to put it there. Basically it's real simple. They have four screws for you uh, mounted there and that's going to be it. So I got my handy screwdriver and we'll install that right away. There's that. We'll plug this in to start with to get it out of the way. Alright, that one works. Okay, the second fan, there is two little arrows right here. Those for this motherboard are supposed to point towards the back end here. So, we mount it like this so that the green is facing what I will call the back of that piece. Then, there's also a sticky sponge is what they call it. Um, we're going to stick that on top of the fan. I can get this off right here that helps with the separation and then we mount the fan onto that little plastic piece so that it doesn't fall in because what's going to happen is the fan is going to be mounted in upside down so we don't want this to go anywhere All right, now that we have the two screws in, we're gonna mount this in. It goes upside down like this. There's a little slot here for the cord. So we'll stick that down in there. Get that cord in there. And then you just use the uh, screw that held down the pad to start with, just one of these little ones. It's kind of a little bit firm in there, but that's the point. The, the reason is you gotta push down a little bit against that sponge. And the reason for that is to, again, keep the fan stable so that it doesn't rattle or anything like that. So I'll keep pushing that down. Nice and firm in there. And then we'll put this cord and attach it now so that's out of the way for the rest of what we do. Okay. Next we're going to do the processor, which is as usual, the most nerve-wracking part because it's you're interacting your motherboard, which is expensive, and your processor together. So um, next, we're gonna remove this piece here from the top. They have this little plastic piece. They advise you to keep the plastic piece for later in case you change out your processor. If you remember where yours is, great. But I'm probably just gonna throw mine away because I doubt that I'll know where I put it. that we'll remove this piece okay. got that there next we're gonna make sure you're touching your uh, we have our the side of my computer case here on the table just to do any static discharge before we touch anything fancy because a little bit of a shock can fry your electronics pretty easy so we touch that we're also on a linoleum floor so there's not going to be a whole lot of static begin with. So, I'll open up my LGA 1155 i7 processor. Again, you don't want to try to touch the outs. You want to try to avoid touching the metal portions of this here because the oils on your hands can damage the processor. It doesn't really make that big of a difference, but it's better to try not to touch that. So, I'll try to carefully pry this out. There is also two notches in the processor that we can see here. What we'll, what we'll call the top or bottom whatever it doesn't really matter so there's two notches here and there's two notches here so that's how we know where we're going to put this thing so I'm going to carefully set this down in there like that and 
again, I'm going to use what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my case, the little plastic that it came in instead of my fingers so I don't touch anything. Just try to make sure that that's nice and secure in there. It can be disconcerting because when we pull down, push down this, it's going to make a really nasty crunching noise. So you want to make this as sure this is nice and secure inside. Look good to you, Mike? I th think you're okay. I mean, if those notches are lining up, you should be all right. Okay, we're good to go. So next, we pull down on this. Put that in Make there. Make sure that's sliding under the uh, bolt there. Under the bolt? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a bolt up here. We're making sure that, that these little pieces are down below the bolt. So, next for the nerve wracking part, we push down. No crunching noise. I'm super excited that there was I'm no all about the no crunching noise. Sweet! Yay! And that's how you install your processor.